now in Girl Meets World. It takes place a decade later or a thousand years in pop culture. Yes. And Corey and Topanga, which Maria Sanson thought was a made-up name because she never heard of Topanga Canyon, are now married when, 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 when she was a kid. Got it. Uh, she thought your name was Temecula. Anyway, uh, they're now married That's with another two kids. another good name. Yeah. Yeah. Live in New York City. All right, let's take a look at this. Mom! Pa! Whatever this is, do not put me in the middle of the two people that I love equally. Just kidding. Come here, honey. She walked out of my class. She's trying to be Maya. Why would you want to be Maya? She's cool. She has a wild side. She does what she wants. But you're such a good person. Who cares about that? <laughs> How important is it that you don't know me at all? Let's get married. Let's have a kid. Let's have another kid. Well, you listen to me, you big stupid. Oh, uh, so adorable. Okay. Now, when you guys ended all those years, like back in 2000, did you have any idea that you could ever do this again? No, I definitely did not. Um, uh, you know, we get asked all the time, like, does it feel so weird to have been, to, you know, to have experienced it with Boy Meets World and then to be experiencing it, again, experiencing it again with Girl Meets World? But we didn't really experience the fandom in the 90s because there wasn't social media. No social yeah. media. This would have been the social media kids show, too, yes. Right, and so yeah. we didn't, like, now we feel it so instantly, whereas mm -hmm. back then I kind of felt like we did the show just for us. <laughs> yeah, we did it in, but I don't know, in some ways, weren't you lucky? I mean, you could just... Well, we were a bit of a bubble back then. Yeah. I think nowadays, you know, the fan reaction is so instant and so immediate that, you know, depending on whether they like the show or not, it can go either way. Well, I can tell you, we like the show. I watched the first two episodes with my kids. Hey, someone sent me a picture Aww. of you in bed yeah. watching <laughs> it with the kids. <laughs> yes, it was all it PG, was G -rated, right? but... Yeah, 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 yeah. They loved it. They laughed. They laughed at you guys. And, of course, Sparkle. Yes. Who is Minkus's spawn, right? Correct. Right, <laughs> yes. Minkus's child. Uh, yeah, Corey Fogelman has played Sparkle. And he's we we should kid. point out when we watch the clip, you're a... Uh, school teacher in New York. I am. Your daughter's in your class. Correct. And her friend who's, her dear friend, kind of a member of the family, but maybe she's a little too fast, a little too... Right, that's important. Sabrina Carpenter, who's okay. her best friend, Maya. And that's what we were watching in that scene. That's what we were watching, but I think the show in general is just kind of promoting a good message. It's a fun show. I think it fills a nice void that's, you know, maybe missing from TV right now. It's a good question. Good, Eric, because your show is very innocent. You know, it was a very innocent show, and kids loved it they loved the message of it the edge the edges of the stuff had messages they wasn't that edgy in that way yeah. can the show survive like that now uh i'm gonna let you answer but i'm just gonna say that i i think that what's important about our show is that it's relatable and it's fun mm -hmm. and i think it's it doesn't preach a message too much but i think it's something that people can identify with you know, and to hear my kids giggle the way they did yesterday was so just so much fun because they've been on the marathon watching boy meets world because that's on disney right now yeah. and so this was really cool to be able to see that and i think what when you reach when you send out the tweet that this was actually happening it's what the fifth most retweeted tweet ever in twitter history, in history? people were excited <laughs> <laughs> so my question to you is is that a good statement? <laughs> exactly. Right. Well, and so if that kind of answers your question. Is yeah. it possible that a show like this could survive now? Yeah. I think, um, luckily for us, there are there's a major craving for a good family program. Were you yeah. aware, I, talking about the lack of social media when you're showing, Whatever this is, you know there's a generation of teenage boys, you know where I'm going with this, who are just <laughs> absolutely, you were the fantasy. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean Danielle? Oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Very good friend. Uh, were you aware of all of that then? No. I mean, Topanga is an amazing character. She's She was created to be the ideal girl. Mm -hmm. um, and in a lot of ways, she is. She's somebody I look up to. She's somebody I admire. She's smart. She's funny. She's, you know, loyal. She's a lot of really wonderful qualities. So I can understand why Topanga is a... Right. You know, is a is a fascination. That was I can't remember was was Corey a love symbol or not? Um, <clears throat> I like to think he was, but um, we hear about it all the time. Yeah, on Twitter, everyone says I've just I've been looking for my Corey my whole life. I think Corey I think Corey was the sweet, lovable guy that people could relate to. I wish yeah. Sansone were in the segment because when she was younger, when the show was on, she was only attracted to the bad guys, right? <laughs> that wasn't that unfortunately wasn't me. And, but then she found a Corey. She married a Corey. Well, that's what happens is the nice yeah. guy wins in the end. Yeah. In, I, the, end. Yeah. in yeah. the end. In the end. But it's, they have to wait a long time. Yeah. Right? They have to be very patient. <laughs> yeah.
All right, so for you, in terms of your lives and you know, your grown up families and all of that, the experience of working and, and, and doing a show, it's entirely different. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's been, it, it has yeah. been different. I mean, it's great. It, in a lot of ways, I, I, one of my n number one things that I like to say is it's so much easier being on a kid's show as an adult than oh. it is to be a kid on a kid's show. And how worried are you about these kids? Because these girls are darling. They're darling. So do you have to, like, try and mother them, or what do you do with all that? We're very protective of them already, and we've known these girls for coming on two years now, and it's like we have formed this little family together. We were there from the second we met them in the auditioning process, and we've kind of seen them grow just just in the short time will we've they, known them. Will they take the wisdom that we've learned by experience, or are they too young to take it? They don't have a choice. Yeah, yeah no, and, and they do. I mean, luckily, they, they also come from very good families. We yeah. don't feel like we need to parent them. They have parents right. that are very good, so we don't feel that need. But you know, we, every week we meet um, right before we tape a show and we spend about 15 minutes together alone as a cast and talk about our highs and lows of the week and what it is that we felt we struggled with and we try to connect with them on that level. All right. Girl that. Meets World premieres Friday, June 27th on the Disney Channel. It's so good. Thank you. <laughs> you saw the uh, tweet of her in bed. Yeah. I, I did. I tweeted a picture of myself in bed. It was very sweet. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So good to see you. Thank you. Uh, coming up, Dr. Oz.